Hi friend, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share with you the top five free data courses from top universities such as Harvard or MIT, all of them for free to take today, whether you're a data beginner in data science, data analyst or data engineer, or you're more advanced in your career and you wanna upskill. If you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Anas Riyad. I'm a consultant data scientist based in the UK. And in this channel, I share with you all my experiences as a data scientist, all the tips that I learned, the mistakes that I've made, the certifications that I passed, and all the free resources that I found myself and I would love for you to take as well. I will share with you five free top universities data courses. I will start for the most beginner into the most advanced. Let's jump into my screen so I can show you how to access those resources and courses and you can also find the links in the description below. First course is the CS50 Introduction to Computer Science from Harvard. This is a free course to take as all the others in this video. The only thing that you can pay for is if you want to get the certification at the end of the course. You can study all the material, all the videos, all the hands-on for free and if you want the certification in the end, then you can pay for it. But all the courses for free. I took this one. It's also free on YouTube to watch all the course in 12 hours, I think, or 24 hours. I don't remember, but you have it on the website as well. And we can see here what are the modules that you go through. So basically you'll go everything from algorithmics, data structure, some basic programming in C++, Python, SQL and a lot more and this is very important because you need to have the foundations of computer science in order to become a data scientist this is why many data scientists and many data analysts or data engineers they have been before computer scientists they have studied a degree in computer science and then they chose to do a data related job so knowledge in computer science can only benefit you especially if you're starting from scratch or you want to transition into data science or data related fields you have to start by understanding what is going on in the computer science world Number two is data science math skills from Duke University. As you might know, data science relies a lot on mathematics, statistics, machine learning, basically statistics in a more applied way. So you need to understand how to use and what is the mathematics that you need to understand when you're a data scientist. This course is not too complex if you already have an understanding of mathematics. If not, it might seem a bit daunting, but you need just to get the basics. You just need to understand the concept. You're not here to learn this to try and teach it to someone. You're just here to grasp as much knowledge as you can so that you can apply it in your field. The goal here is to learn things so that you apply. Because watching 20 hours of videos is not enough to become good at what you do. It's best to do 20 hours of practice with a few hours of tutorials than doing the opposite. So in this course, what you can find is mathematics, building blocks for problem solving. A data scientist is basically a problem solver. So if you have this mathematical thinking and mindset, it does help you a lot as a data scientist. And that's why this course is very valuable. It's because you can develop that slowly. Math teaches you also patience, which a lot of people lack nowadays. And if you wanna become a data scientist, you need patience. You also see functions and graphs, measuring rate of change, and introduction here to probability theory. Number three, we have IBM professional certificate. And this one is a little bit more advanced. You already need some form of experience, some form of hands-on or understanding of the domain so that this can boost you and help you upskill. Starting from this directly is a little bit challenging, especially if you don't have any notion of understanding of computer science, basics of maths, basics of programming, basics of statistics. This will be a little bit trickier to learn or understand. It's doable, but it's best to do things the right way. The goal here is not for you to do all these five courses even though you could but you need to identify where you are in your journey if you're more of a beginner start from the beginning if you're more advanced or intermediate go to something a little bit more intermediate where you can challenge yourself as well the goal here is to learn but challenge what you know already and try and improve 
And if you're more advanced, go for things that are more advanced. And usually, if you're in between intermediate and advanced, what I would suggest is to do a lot of hands-on and a lot of projects. These courses are free, they're cool, you can learn a lot of things, but try to apply what you learn. That's the best way to upskill and to remember what you're learning. So in this course, you'll find many, many modules, and here you can choose which ones you want to focus on. You can see the introductory courses, what is data science, some tools, some Python for data science, databases, data analysis, data visualization, machine learning, applied data science, generative AI, and so much more. As you can see, this one is more comprehensive, it's long, so you go choose what you need, depends on where you are in your journey, don't be ashamed or scared to go back and get the basics right. A lot of us nowadays think that we're ahead of the curve. Sometimes we're not and there's no harm to going back, getting the basics right and then move on to the next step. So here you choose the section that is more interesting for you. You go and study, it's free, enjoy. If you want the certification and you complete this, then you'll have to pay for it. If you enjoyed the video so far, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like this. It does help the channel immensely. Thank you for doing it. Next is the MIT course, Introduction to Computational Thinking and Data Science. And this one is a really, really interesting resource. It is an introduction into computational thinking, but it has some more advanced concepts. So it's good for you to have an understanding of computer science and programming before diving into this. You'll find the website a bit clunky and a bit old, but you can find all the resources if you click on the download course and you should find all the lectures in here. So very interesting topics in here graph theoretic models, stochastic thinking, Monte Carlo simulation, really statistical thinking, computational thinking, all in one place here for you. You can download the lecture, follow it. You can find more resources on the internet, more hands-on. So if you find the topic interesting for you, always find a small project where you can do hands-on because watching these 10 lectures and just calling it a day, is not enough to build skills. You'd rather do one or two lectures, a lot of hands-on, and really gain a skill. And last one, number five, is from the University of Michigan, Applied Data Science with Python Specialization. And why did I leave this one as number five? Is because it's applied knowledge. And this is what you truly want as a data specialist. Here is for data scientists, but the knowledge that you gain, if you don't apply it, you lose it. And this one is full of application. As we can see in here, if we go down, we can see applied plotting, charting, data representation, applied machine learning, applied text mining with Python, applied social network analysis with python there are equivalent courses with r so if you're learning r and you want to do them i believe there's a course with harvard as well for r introductory course so you can go and look into that one but most people i would say that i know anyways use python i use python myself so whatever tool you use it's not a competition here just go for a course where you can leverage that so you don't have to every time translate what you're learning even though you can do the same things that you do with python usually with r there are nuances of course but you can achieve the same things the same analysis whichever language you choose and if you want to pass the pl300 microsoft power bi certification i've made a video you can find it just here or in the description below you can go and watch it